Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be modeling the big architect's Vancouver house. So this is an interesting skyscraper that starts off as a triangle at the ground level and then it rises up to a rectangle at the top level. So it creates this quite interesting shape with this nice spline over here. So I thought this would be an interesting challenge to try to model in Revit. So let's go to Revit. I'm going to start off with an architectural template. And before we get started, I would like to ask you to like this video. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe if you enjoy tutorials like these. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the units. So I'm just going to go to meters, go OK, OK. And now let's go to south elevation. The first thing we're going to do is we need to set the top of this building and that will be 100 meters so I'm just going to have the level 2 at 100 meters and later we can add the levels in between. I will be modeling this as an in place mass so I'm just going to go here to massing and site tab go in place mass name it tower okay now I'm going to go to level 1 and I know you might be tempted to create this as a triangle in the base and there's a rectangle on top and then just connect it. But as you can see here, we lose that beautiful spline we have. And this is just a straight line and doesn't really look right. So I'm going to show you a better way to do this. So I'm just going to go here to reference plane and I'm going to draw one reference plane here and one over here. And let's have them at 30 meters distance. Okay, and the one that's up I'm going to name it number one and the one that's below I'm going to name it number two. Okay once that is completed I'm going to go to south elevation and here I'm just going to use the rectangle tool and to set the work plane I'm going to go by name and I'm going to choose reference plane one so that's the one that's away from us. So I'm just going to create a rectangle starting from the bottom going to, to the top and to set the basically the thickness of this I'm just going to tab into this line and I'm going to put this at 15 okay I can delete this dimension now now let's create that spline so I'm going to go here to model lines and spline and to set the reference plane I'm going to go by name also but I'm going to choose reference plane number two okay and I'm going to start from this point over here create one point, second point and the third one here just next to the end. And now I'm going to choose a normal line so I'm going to catch this corner over here, here and finish it. Okay now hit escape a couple of times. Now I'm going to select this spline, double click it to edit the spline and I'm going to move this like this around at one third of the building and this over here to this line. Okay, that looks nice. We have that nice looking spline. Now if we go into 3D, you can see what we have. We have one profile and the second profile. So I'm just going to select everything with a window and then I'm going to create a form. And there you go, we have a form. And if we maybe use the shaded view, we can see it better or not. Okay, now let's finish this mess. And let's just add some floors in between. So I'm going to go to South Elevation. And now I'm going to hit this floor or select it and then go CS for Create Similar. I'm going to choose the Pick Lines option. And let's say that floors are 5 meters tall. They're probably a bit lower, but anyway, let's create them like this. Okay, now once that is completed, I can go back to 3D view and I can select this mass and go mass floors. So I will select level 1 and I'm going to hold shift and select level 21 and I'm going to check everything. So I'm going to go OK and now it created all the floors. But as you can see, these aren't really floors, they're just mass floors, so they don't have any thickness. And in order to give it thickness, you need to go to massing and site go to floor, select multiple, so I'm going to select all these floors and go create floor. And there you go, now we have all these floors 
and we have our Vancouver house. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.